We're going, we're going, we're going on a trip. We're going, we're going, we're going on a trip. Hello! We're going on a baby moon. Yep. Taking Erica and the baby on a baby moon. One little last hurrah. Yep. Before baby Bob's here. <laughs> It's time for us to spend together, last mm -hmm. just the two of us before the baby comes. So we're excited to see what we get ourselves into. And we made it to the skyline of downtown Tampa. We made it to Tampa Bay. There she is. Look at that house. We are going to grab lunch at the famous Greek. Jack loves Greek food. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a euro. So look at the menu. And we all know the best part is dessert. Okay, so we just finished at Famous Greek Salads. It was delicious. Yes, it was really good. Yeah, so I got the Euro platter with fries. The fries were an upcharge, and I would definitely get the French fries, but I'd also definitely get the potato salad. Yeah, mine, <laughs> so I got the Greek salad, and mine came with, like, potato salad in the middle. And, like, potato salad can be hit or miss for me big time, so I asked for it on the side. But it was fire. <laughs> yeah. So it's a man it's a mayonnaise based uh, potato salad, just yeah. just to let you know, with like green onions in them. Yeah, something about the green onion like just made it so summery yeah. and delicious. I don't know. I think there might have been some oregano too, but it was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I couldn't recommend that place enough. Uh, it was really busy, so that's why we ended up not like reviewing our food in there, and uh, we wanted to respect the patrons as well. Also, I'm not driving. We're sitting in the parking lot right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely highly recommend that place. I think it's got like 4.8 stars on Google. Yeah. And like we were like, oh, should we go? Should we not? Because it's like a real small hole in the wall place. But what we found is the smaller the spot, the better the food yeah. in all of our travels. Highly recommend that place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good lunch. Definitely. Now it's... Off to your Starbucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here at the Starbucks because it's a Saturday and they're running buy one get one free. What are you ordering? Uh, so I've learned because my favorite drink here has always been the caramel macchiato but anymore they make it like really milky like I just feel like I'm drinking like straight caramel milk. So the new thing to get is the ice shake and espresso because it's less milky and then I just add my caramel drizzle to it and then I switch out the syrup from classic to vanilla. And then I just get whatever's most equal in price because I want to make sure it's almost like the exact buy one get one free. That's just the way my brain works. <laughs> so he's a numbers person so <laughs> yep. he's either got to suffer and just get what I drink or he's got to <laughs> modify it to almost equal mine. Yep. <laughs> All right. We got our coffees, now we're off to our next destination. We've made it to Tarpon Springs and we're gonna walk around and see what this place has to offer. They have live music at the Wine at the Docks today. La Macaroon French Pastries is coming soon. Sweetie's Ice Cream. First stop is Rita's Creations, custom cotton and designs. Let's see what they have to offer. Erica found a coffee cup that says Tarpon Springs with a turtle. With turtle in it. But there's also one with a manatee in it. And a dolphin. I'm getting I'm getting feathers on my head. Look at that. <laughs> Can't be too tall in here. 
when I have a bar, this is the sign that I'm going to buy. Screw the cracker. Polly wants a cocktail. <laughs> that is great. The camera's not going to do it justice, but look at the size of this she shell. Wind chime. Unbelievable. Look at this hand carved turtle made out of wood. <laughs> Next stop is the Tarpon Springs Shopping Mall, the Lighthouse Shops. Let's see what this place has to offer. As I almost tripped walking in because I, I didn't see that sit. Look, they still got Christmas decorations up. 2008. I bet you that Coke's still good. Even the lamps in the mall are, what are those called? <laughs> It's like this thing on the, the boat. The boat steering wheel. <laughs> and I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But yeah, you there can, it goes. You can tell we're boaters. <laughs> it's got anchors on the glass with stars. And yeah, as Erica said, we're not boaters at all. <laughs> okay, I just found what I'm going to ask Erica for. The Tarpon Springs Mini Mug. And it's got my name on it. Let's see what she has to say. She's even going to be so mad because there's not one for Erica. <laughs> this is why she gets so mad. Let's see what she has to say. Here she comes. Can I get a Tarpon Springs mini mug with my name on it? <laughs> <laughs> and they look, don't even have... Look, look how cute they are though. <laughs> They're pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. It's, like a, it's bigger than an espresso cup but smaller than a coffee cup. Oh, but, well, they're kind of cute. But they don't have one for baby Bob, and they don't have one for Erica, but they got one for me. Jack. <laughs> it's over there. I already showed him. Oh, look, look, right there. Look, Jack. There it is. <laughs> for comparison, this is what a Starbucks cup looks like. And there's what that baby cup. looks like. What the heck is this? Is that a real shark? I have no clue. What does it say on the side? Turn it. It's a shark. I think it's a mummified baby <laughs> shark. That is wicked. Tarpon Springs, Florida. Sponge capital of the world. Got some nice looking boats. If only it were a little bit warmer today. Jack found a buddy. <laughs> a buddy from Tarpon <laughs> World's famous Hello's restaurant. and the bakery. We're gonna pop into the Hellas Bakery and see what options they have. Look at all the sponges. So cool. <laughs> the flip flop shops. I got Jack back because look at this. I got the surfboard. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a surfboard than a coffee cup. And the shops continue. 
Oh my goodness, the candy barrel. We gotta go in for sure. I grew up on these. Oh my gosh, so yummy. My dad would have to hide them from me because he got me addicted to them. Ooh, Smarties. These are extremely sour though. I've never heard of the extremely sour. You've never had them? Oh, I've had them. The extreme sour? Yeah. Oh. Root beer barrels. There was a brewery in Phoenix that we lived by, and they would give you these for free out the door. It was my favorite place to go to because I could get a free root beer barrel. No candy at the candy barrel. It kind of it kind of had a funny smell in there. <laughs> yeah. I think so. they just had so much uh, candy sitting out that all the candy mixed together didn't have like the best smell. Yeah, and they were in like little buckets. Walking along the water <laughs> and just hearing the birds overhead. It's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> no. They're just having a good time. All the birds. Love seeing all the boats. So Tarpon Springs is known for their sponge boats. boats. Uh, this one here, the Susie C, actually goes out and is still one of the few left that goes out and uh, kind of fishes for sponges at the bottom of the ocean. And it also says that they search for four main types of sponges, wool, yellow, vase, or grass, and finger, and that they go out for 30 days on it at a time. So pretty cool. And they also have some on their boat right now in the back. So it's kind of cool to see. We stopped into the fudge factory. They even have marble slabs here for the fudge. So cool. And then the copper kettle sitting over here. And we made it into another candy shop. Can you believe it? It's all about the candy with her. Yep. Bun. <laughs> Look, they even have candies from the years. 60s, 70s, and 80s. <laughs> Just like we were in Nashville. The Goo Goo Bar. I found my candy bar. I'm the big hunk. Chunk. Oh. <laughs> I think that says hunk the last time I smelled it. <laughs> but at least it's low fat. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us at Tarpon Springs. It's definitely fun to walk around. Yeah. If you ever come to the area, we wanted to come because we heard it was like a little Greek town. There's tons of Greek restaurants yeah. and it was like the birth of the sponges. <laughs> yeah, so like sponges being like they go to the bottom of the like ocean to kind of, I guess, fish or uh, I guess harvest sponges, I guess would be the better term yeah. for it. But yeah, it's a really cool little town, definitely walkable. Um, one thing is, is like parking, you have to pay to park unless... We found a public lot that was free. Mm -hmm. um, but There was like two public lots on each end. One was way further than the other because it was like part of a dog park. That one was free. And then if you drove all the way through like town at this end, there was this lot that we're in. And this one was public parking that was free. Yeah, so. Uh, all it, the lots in between were like paid. Yeah, and some of the parking on the street is like for pass only, I would assume, for like residents that live and around Tarpon Springs, so be aware of that. Um, parking's not too expensive. I think the most expensive parking I saw was $10 for a credit card, but if you paid cash, I think it was seven. Yeah. And I think most of the other spots were like $7, eight, seven or $8. Yeah, and for I, the whole day. For, yeah, for the whole day. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend coming to check this place out. All it's, the people are super sweet because yeah. they all were like guessing what we were gonna have as yeah, a Yeah, every time I walked by, someone would be like, girl, girl and yeah. i'd be like yeah we don't know and then someone else would be like boy and then we we're all like counting like okay how many girls did we get how many boys did we get so people are super friendly here it's really nice uh it's got a lot of greek type of uh architecture and restaurants so i enjoy greek food and uh desserts so it was really cool to see that kind of stuff and also we can't tell but a lot of the shops said that they close at five 
Yeah, so. so keep that in mind if you come. I'm not sure if it's got a nightlife or not. Um, we're not going to stay to find yeah. out. But It's like 4.30 and the place is basically cleared out. And we got yeah, here. like the lot. We got super lucky with this lot because someone pulled out right when we pulled in. And it was like the only open spot. But right now the lot's like almost empty. <laughs> yeah, so one recommendation is definitely get here before 5.00. Um, because we think basically everything closes before, like right at yeah. five. Maybe so, not the restaurants, but all the shops. Yeah, all the shops, which I definitely recommend going to all the shops. They're super cool. Yeah, uh, they're just your normal like beachy shops. Yeah. <laughs> and the prices are really reasonable. Like I yeah. saw bracelets for three dollars, t-shirts for thirteen dollars. Like yeah, it was really cool to kind of walk around, explore this area. So. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you around like a donut. We popped into the Countryside Mall, and look at this. This is so cool. They have an ice skating rink in the middle of the mall. How fun.